Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly read and this will be for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm truly grateful for all you do for me. Um, if you've not subscribed yet, love to have you on board. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, if you enjoy the video and it resonates with you, please make sure you put the like, thumbs up. Um, and if it doesn't, that's okay too. Just move on and find another reader or check out other aspects of your natal chart. Uh, remembering that the readings do flip-flop. They go backwards and forwards. can be the other person's energy. Sometimes you're cross-watching something and you realise it's you that the reader's talking about, not the sign you're dealing with. Temperance card coming out here. So finding balance in your life, making decisions, trying to work out which way to go, understanding yourself a lot better. You may have done a little bit of self-growth. Looking for now what would be your complete and utter happiness here. Okay. All right, so you have the King of Pentacles coming out. So some of you dealing with Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. You may be dealing with someone that very much meets you eye to eye here. Um, the Earth signs are very, sometimes a little money focused, but they're very practical direct straightforward people a little bit strategic in their dealing looks like you want to work with someone here you want to make an effort to work towards something but there's this sort of feeling here with the moon that not all is known here there's a closing out of some sort of cycle for you Pisces after a lot of thinking a lot of thinking of what direction you want to go in here okay so we have the five of cups coming out first now this can be you looking back at the past with some regret. Could be that you've left someone behind and are making a forward journey now. You've left something behind, but still looking back at the past here, not realising that you have a great deal in your future waiting for you. And look what you've got waiting. So there is some true love here. And the two cups in this card tell me that you have some sort of relationship in your future waiting for you here. Uh, true love. Nice. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about the universe moving you in a new direction. It can also talk about cycling. So it could be that you've been going around with the cycling, doing the same thing over and over again without getting a good result. And we do have the card of transformation. And that's why I said to you in the beginning, I feel like you've been doing a bit of work here. Your energy is sort of changing a little bit. Um... There's sort of like this feeling that you're approaching things in a very different way going forward. There are some lessons that have been learned here, maybe through heartbreak. Okay, so we have you making an offer here, something solid, something that you really want here, because you've got this pentacle to the ready. So it's something tangible, something long term. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is not known for fast movement. This is about really being strategic, moving slowly, making decisions before you hit on something okay so three of wands here tells me that you've been trying to understand how to move forward in your future you're waiting for your ships to come in here um, there seems to be this feeling here that you've been waiting a while maybe you've been waiting for the right person to offer love to but there's sort of this a bit of a wait here yeah look here we go with this two of ones now a lot of waiting a lot of creating a lot of a lot of understanding what you want I feel that this is what you've been doing with this death card here yeah look there's a passion you've got two aces in this reading already um, putting down the burdens of the past here with the ten of wands and look at this moving towards abundance okay Big life change coming in here, Pisces. You've been dealing with someone who could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now, this could be the way you're approaching things as well, because sometimes when we get into that mindset of money, making money, creating security, creating stability, we can sometimes take on this energy. I really feel with this three of pentacles, though, there's something here you want to work on. And although it's something new and diff difficult for you or different for you, um, there seems to be a closing out of some sort of cycle here. Um, 
it's sort of to me like perhaps you're making a decision to move on something that you may not have moved towards before. A lot of thinking going on here and a lot of decision making about how to do this. Um, you're going after true love, but I feel here that perhaps you have been reluctant to do this because of your past experiences. The universe is trying to move you forward here. Um, and I feel like somehow or another you've done a bit of a life. Uh, you've had a life changing moment. You've done a bit of a life review. And now you want to offer something to someone. You're coming out here as it's been coming for a long time. You've really been dwelling on this, trying to work out what you want going forward. You're very passionate, though. A lot of tens here. So we're looking at closing out of cycles, deciding to move in a different direction, but also um, trying to decide what direction you want to move in. I'm going to pull a card from the angel. Uh, look, that's really interesting from the angel ask, answers card. And it says, ask your angels. So I think that perhaps this is time for soul seeking to try and find direction. When I see Ask Your Angels, I'm thinking here, you could be talking to people around you that really understand you, that may help you move in the right direction. But there's very, very strong feeling here that you're trying to move towards something that is very different for you. Very different. So whether that's a different sort of relationship, whether you're just coming from a different place, different is the main word that's coming through here. Have a great week.